Here we are on the side of the road, and I found some friends, so I thought I'd stop and say hi. Hey, buddies. Hi. Hi, buddy. It's okay. Hi. No, don't run. It's okay. Hi. What's up, 701-817? What is this guy doing here, huh? Why did this guy pull over on that weird two-wheeled thing? <laughs> All right, guys, got a ride on. Nice meeting y'all. You're not gonna let me get close, are you? Bye. Well, today kind of sucked, but got some time to ride now, so might as well make the best of it. For what's left, it's already four o'clock. So here we are on Highway 93, northbound. over the east side highway. We take the neighborhood shortcuts to get there and once we hit Corvallis I figure cross back over to 93, continue north and then I got a spot that I want to check out. Alright, east side highway. Take a left and cross over to Highway 93. We've got some interesting weather. It's actually really hot outside, but there's been a few thunderstorms passing over the valley. Hopefully there won't be any more. Alright, I gotta show you guys something. I was just passing up the river, and it is high. Holy shit. You gotta see this. So the last time I showed you guys this place, this is literally the parking lot. It is covered. You got water going into the forest there, making its own creek. This is as high as I've seen the river. Look at this. They even had to block off the uh, block off the entrance. Wow. cool. Alright, back on track. Here we are back at 93. Usually I go south and head home, make the loop when I only have a few minutes to ride on a given day. But we're going to explore today and go north. So uh, we left Corvallis, took the crossing, checked the river, and we're going north. to explore. It's just a fishing access area, but I figure it's something new to see. I think this is it up here. Yeah, this is uh, Tucker Crossing. On the other side is Bear Creek. So there should be some good access to see the 
high, uh, high river, what, tide? Is a river a tide? High tide, high river, high water, I don't know. But we do got a dirt road, that's for sure. That's what it do. I've never been to this spot before, but also the river has never, ever been this wide as far as I can remember. Yeah, this is wide. Anyway, there's a there's a nice pull off here. That's the main highway up there that we came off of. And you can bring your you can fit your camper or big truck out here. Hell you can probably spend the night. Even a restroom, although although I bet it's locked from stupid ass fake COVID. You know, I didn't leave until about 4 p.m. And here we are, it's still blazing hot outside. Checking out the high tide. Enjoying the ride, got a full tank of gas. Although, there's a thundercloud right behind me. All right, well those very nice folks over there explained to me the high tide because of recent rains combined with the snow melt. And he said, if I go north and take Victor Crossing, which will connect me to Eastside Highway. I can find another river spot to look on. So I think we'll do that. I was going to head back straight south on 93, but we're going to go north on 93 and make this adventure just a little bit further. All right, here we are back at 93 and head north again. Montana and we're gonna head on Victor Crossing like the gentleman told me. the size of that ant. That fucker is huge. Time to call it a day. That was fun. We got about 20 miles back and uh, there's some cold beer waiting. Drop. One more stop. Not sure which creek this is, but I'll put it on screen. Now I think we're headed home, as I see something else cool. Like he said, right back to East Side Highway, and that's what we're gonna take.
are back in Corvallis. I see the Fort Way stop up there, but I figured why the hell not go around the block and see something new. So here it is, a little tiny, tiny town in Corvallis, Montana. There's Corvallis High School. I just passed on the left an ATV that looked like a blast. here for a small town high school. Shit, they even got tennis courts. Cool. Alright, let's head out on Market Street. Damn, it is hot by the way. I'm not kidding, it is hot. It's like, it's gotta be 80. I'm burning up. I got a long sleeve on with the sleeves pulled up just so I don't get nailed by a projectile at 70 miles an hour, but it's still too hot. Even this kid's running in the sprinkler. Side cut off. We'll get right back over to east side. So, truly the way home. Back to east side, headed south. We're gonna wrap this up. I'm pretty sure I mean it this time. Although the journey never ends, people. Live while you're alive.